September 25th, 1978. It was a 727. Uh, had a mid-air collision with a one with a Cessna 172 over the San Diego area, California. 144 people were, were killed. This includes uh, both airplanes and people on the ground. The, you can see right here the collision ratio. The probable cause were, was that this is the uh, the PSA airliner. Okay, did not maintain visual separation of the Cessna 172. What happened? Well, they lost sight of the Cessna 172. And in communicating with ATC, it became convoluted. In other words, there were, the crew didn't hear all the instructions and vice versa. The transmissions from both the crew and ATC, they found later to be a little bit garbled. And so what one side thought they were saying and hearing was different from what the other side said. Now, the 172... They were doing instrument instruction. So we had two pilots on board. One was under the hood, we call it. That's where you have something over your eyes, so all you see is the instruments. Well, they they drifted off course. So they were supposed to be over here like this, and they drifted this way into the flight path of the 727. The 727, again, lost sight, overran the 172, and that's what happened. Now, the next one. And we're going to talk about three. This is an Aero Mexico DC-9 that had a mid-air collision with a Piper PA-28 Cherokee. And uh, this was August 31st, 1986, over Cerritos, California. 82 people killed, including both airplanes and on the ground. You can see there. this is the only known photograph of the DC-9. And basically, the tail... Um, was impacted by the Cherokee you can see here. The probable cause of this accident um, were the limitations of air traffic control, of the air traffic control system, I'm reading this, to provide collision protection through both air traffic control procedures and automated redundancy. Factors contributing to the accident were the inadvertent and unauthorized entry of the PA-28 into the Los Angeles Terminal Control Area and the limitations of the see and avoid concept to ensure traffic separation under the conditions of the conflict. Now, something else about this accident. There was also a Grumman, which is another four-passenger uh, four passenger GA airplane, much like this Cherokee here that also flew into the terminal control area. The terminal control area we'll talk about in a second. So the controller was busy dealing with that airplane and lost the radar track on the Cherokee. So that was 